a new method in a derived class can redefine a method in a base class, in order to give it a new implementation. In this example, rectangles get area method is redeclared in triangle with the same signature. The signature includes the name, parameter list, and return type of the method. If a triangle object is created, and the get area method is invoked, then triangle's version of the method will get called. However, if the triangle is upcast to a rectangle, then rectangle's version will get called instead. This is because the redefined method has only hidden the inherited method. This means that triangle's implementation is redefined downwards in the class hierarchy, to any child classes of triangle, but not upwards to the base class. In order to redefine a method upwards in the class hierarchy, what is called overriding, the method needs to be declared with the virtual modifier in the base class. This modifier allows the method to be overridden in derived classes. Calling the getArea method from rectangles interface will now invoke triangles implementation. It is still possible to access a redefined method from a derived class by typing the class name followed by the scope resolution operator. This is called base class scoping and can be used to allow access to redefined methods that are any number of levels deep in the class hierarchy. Another place where base class scoping is important is in the constructors of derived classes. In C++, constructors in derived classes will implicitly call the parameterless base class constructor. To call another base class constructor, it will need to be explicitly invoked at the beginning of the derived constructor's initialization list. Note that the base class constructor does not have to be qualified with the class name.